This is Hope Grace Bible Institute. We are bringing to you some information on hermeneutics. My name is Frank Kwekuba, and uh, here is. I am Cyprian Entry Awa. All right, Cyprian. Yeah. So we've been hearing of hermeneutics. We've been hearing of hermeneutics. I mean, what is it? Well, uh, thank you, Frank. Um, Basically, hermeneutics is the science and art of interpreting the Bible. Um, actually, it's not only the Bible, but any ancient literature. If you pick any ancient material and you want to understand it, you must follow hermeneutic principles. If not, there is no way you'll be able to know uh, what the author meant, you know, by what he Good. Okay. So, in your submission, you said hermeneutics is a science. Yeah. It's, it's, science. it's also an art. It's also an art. So, what makes it a science? Well, hermeneutics is science not because uh, it gives people injection. <laughs> it doesn't give injection. You know, normally people hear science, uh, what well, comes into their mind is, you know, a hospital and uh, things that involve, you know, uh, laboratory, but hermeneutics is science because it follows principles. Okay, it follows procedures. Okay, it follows um, rules. Okay, and um, you cannot interpret a material that was never written in your time. Mm -hmm. A material that has different history. Okay. A material that has different culture. Mm -hmm. You cannot ignore certain principles and know what the author meant. Okay, so, so it must follow certain principles. Okay, so for instance, you know, our Bible, the Bible is, is older than everybody in the world. Yes, yeah. more than a thousand years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, if we are to interpret the Bible, mm -hmm. That just because it wasn't written in our time, yeah. we have to follow principles in hermeneutics. Exactly, you, you have to follow principles uh, of hermeneutics before you can know what the person meant when he wrote what he wrote. Without it, there is no way. Oh, oh, okay. There is no way you can you can uh, get to know what the person meant. Okay, so the knowing those principles in in, in, in hermeneutics makes mm. hermeneutics a science, right? Um, uh, yes, following following those that, principles makes yeah, it a science. Make it a science. So what makes because it an art? Because it follows a methodology. The, the, the art aspect has to do with how to apply the principles. Okay. It is one thing to know principles. It is another thing to, to, to know how to apply those principles. Okay, so the mere fact that I have knowledge of the principles of hermeneutics mm. does not mean mm. that I have been able to apply it. Right? Mm. Yes, yes, you must know, you must develop the skills of applying mm. the principles. Oh, okay, so the skill will come in when I start applying them, right? Yes, okay. that is where that is where the skills, you know, oh. comes in. Okay, you get it. Okay, that is where the skills now come in. Yeah. So, what are those principles of hermeneutics? Well, the principles are. Uh, Grammatical principles, mm -hmm. because the Bible is a communication material, okay. and if you are interpreting it, you must follow communication rules. So I don't cut you off. So it means that there are some grammatic, you know, it, the writing of the scripture follows some grammar, right? Yes, it follows because it is a is a is a, is a communication book. Okay, you know, God, God communicated to man. Okay, there are, there are some places that you see man communicating to man. Okay. There are some places God will be communicating to nations, will be communicating to individuals. Certain okay. places people will be fighting, okay. will be recorded. Okay. So it's a communication material. Okay. And uh, if the people understood each other then, then it means that they follow certain principles. Just as today, we follow normal communication principles to understand each other. Okay. So grammatical principle is just one aspect of okay. the principles. Okay. And you must also consider historical uh, you must interpret the Bible historically. Okay. So historical uh, principles okay. is also one. Okay. Okay. Because the Bible is not 
a 21st century book. Okay. So we have uh, also, uh, we, you must interpret it literally. Okay. Do you get it? Okay. You don't have to allegorize the Bible. You okay. must take it literally. Okay. If something is figurative mm -hmm. in a passage, the literal approach will mm -hmm. now review that this aspect of the language used here is not cannot be taken literally. Okay. It might be figurative. Okay. But then when your first approach must be literal. Okay. So that the uh, the figurative will show mm -hmm. um, by itself. Okay. Because uh, every language has principles. Every language has a uh, uh, figurative expressions. Okay. Every language has uh, uh, slangs and terms that okay. you know the community or the people understand. Okay. And when they use that uh, in their communication, their audience. Okay. So now understand you, you, what they are saying. So now you've spoken about the grammatical principle. Mm -hmm. We've talked about the cultural principle. Culture. Do we have other principles? Yes, we have. Uh, um, literal, you must interpret literally, literal, yeah, and literal. also mm -hmm. contextually. Contextually, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we always say context is king when it comes to interpreting the Bible. Okay. Uh, context is king. You must look at what was happening, mm -hmm. uh, you know, before uh, making a conclusion of what you think the text is saying. So it means that the context looks at what is happening, or what happened. Actually. Yes, what happened uh, before. Okay. The text you intend to interpret okay. what happened before that. Okay. Okay. Or what happened uh, after the text that you intend to interpret. Okay. So together, you are dealing with the entire context. Okay. So having known these principles and application of the grammatical principles, mm -hmm. the historical principle, the context, the literal ones makes it an art, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So, Zipran, why is uh, hermeneutics very important? Why is it important? Why must we learn it? Well, hermeneutics is important and each believer needs to learn it. Each pastor uh, uh, needs to learn it and be a blessing to the church because um, hermeneutics deals with interpretation. Oh, okay. And we know that interpretation creates conviction. Yeah. Interpretation creates faith. Yeah. A certain interpretation you give on a passage will make people believe God in a certain way. Okay. It doesn't matter whether interpretation is wrong or right. Okay. It always gives certain conviction okay. to the hearer. Okay. So in the mind of the hearer, if you interpret something wrong, if the person doesn't understand hermeneutics, the person might take what you are saying as truth. Okay. And it's going to affect the person. It's going okay. to make the person believe God in a certain way that okay. God is not maybe expecting the person to believe in him. Okay. And this normally happens because of bad uh, lack of hermeneutics. Okay. Or or um um, um ignorance of maybe certain aspects of the principles okay and uh, you know um, you know these days mm. you know even these days uh, we have quite a number of differences in how scriptures are interpreted mm. uh, can we attribute these problem to to you know uh, lack of hermeneutics yes um actually the reason why we have so many interpretations is because very little, uh, very few people mm -hmm. know hermeneutics. Okay. Very few believers know hermeneutics. Okay. Very few pastors know hermeneutics. Okay. So it makes people think that, well, I can pick up the Bible, mm -hmm. pick up the Bible, mm -hmm. flip the pages, mm -hmm. read it what it means mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. is 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 what god is saying oh okay so it doesn't matter who is doing the talking okay 
It doesn't matter the people to whom the passage was about. Okay. All how the person cares is something is in the Bible. Okay. Therefore, God is telling him or her, if it is a command, God is asking him to do the exact thing. Okay. So, uh, people don't know that there are principles and rules that we need to follow when interpreting the Bible. Mm -hmm. So, it makes every person think that he knows how to interpret the Bible. Okay. And the most important thing is knowing certain scriptures. Okay. Once you're able to sit on TV or radio, mm -hmm. quote scriptures from memory, yeah. then it means, ah, uh, like in our language, they will say, ah, I call radio in Bible. <laughs> or in the sense of, uh, okay. scriptures, quote uh, scriptures. Okay. But when you quote scriptures, verses, and when it is, uh, you understand the Bible. Okay. You don't understand the Bible just because you quote scriptures. Yeah, you know, when we're young, principle. when yeah. we're young, we could memorize the Bible. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they, 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 no, we never, we never even understood anything, but we could memorize the Bible and that we will be... It just rattled, yeah, it just rattled, rattled yeah. the whole thing, so, yeah. So that is basically, that is, uh, that is one of the reasons so, why... So it means that there are dangers attached to me not having any knowledge in hermeneutics. Of course, that is, that is why we have so many bad interpretations. If you look at the scriptures, you remember, uh, if you, if you, uh, you remember some of the examples that I explained in my yeah. book um, mm -hmm. uh, about hermeneutics yeah. is to twist in verses yeah. and uh, like the common uh, this passage in Matthew 6 yeah, uh, 33. Matthew 6 33 yeah. uh, which says that uh, seek ye the kingdom of God first and all you will see all other things all other things yeah. shall be added unto yeah. you so when you Go and interpret Matthew 6 33. That seek the kingdom of God first and its righteousness and all other things. You see, the misinterpretation is going to create a conviction in the person's mind. Exactly. I mean, it even occurred, it even happened to me. You see, mm. so in the person's mind, you are giving him or her an expectation yeah. of God going to give him or her. Every Better, other thing yeah. that he he or she desires in life. Exactly. Meanwhile, when Jesus two uh, about uh, nineteen uh, hundred years ago, yeah. when he made that statement, that statement did not mean all other things. Yeah. But growing up, from parents to classroom teachers to pastors to pastors, everybody will say. Seek the kingdom of God first and its righteousness, and all, all other things, things shall be added unto you. Yeah. Meanwhile, in the text, it is not saying all other things or every other things. Yeah. You see the problem. Yeah. Now, the question is, if the pastor was wrong for saying every other thing, how come we also didn't know that it was not what? Every other thing. thing, yeah. That's a question I even intended yeah. to ask you. Because he himself didn't know, and we also didn't know. So it's like transmission of ignorance. Transmission of ignorance. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? Yeah. Uh, if I make a mistake right now, mm -hmm. as I'm speaking English, yeah. you, you, you will be able to detect, yeah. or our audience will know that, well, this is bad grammar. Yeah. Now, why... Would they be able to know, or why would you be able to know that I'm wrong? It, it, it's because was, yeah. we have something common, a yeah. common denominator yeah. governing us. Yeah. Do you get it? That's yeah. how it's supposed to be. We okay. don't have to have different interpretations. So we every, must have every only one application. Is supposed to have one Sorry, we must we must not have uh, uh, we must not have different interpretation. We must we must not have different interpretation, but we can have different application. So every scripture for every scripture verse mm -hmm. there should be one interpretation yes there but, should be one interpretation. but there could be different applications there could, there could be different applications okay do you get it yeah. we don't have to have different interpretation because okay. when a person makes a statement there is always one single meaning the person, that the person has in mind okay. okay and this is that single meaning that you must find okay if you write a letter to your mom or mm -hmm. to your father mm -hmm. you didn't have double meaning 
you had only one minute and yeah. you expect your mom or whoever reads that letter to your mom to have the same meaning. Okay. Do you get it? Okay. So this is why uh, we need to follow principles to be able to know what Moses said. Okay. What Isaiah said, what Paul, you know, wrote and all that. All right. So folks, this is Grace Bible Institute. This is telling us that hermeneutics is very, very important. Mm. And that we all, all of us as believers must have knowledge in hermeneutics yeah. and be able to interpret the Bible correctly mm. yeah. and accurately. And I think we, uh, uh, we have to make another video to, to show people why uh, Matthew 6.33 is not uh, talking about all other, other things, things. Okay. but rather uh, uh, these things. Uh, yeah. we, we have to we'll read it and then we have to read it. Yeah. For them to see themselves okay go to the house and check it themselves okay. so that they will they will they will understand that we are not teaching them something different from what the bible is saying okay. we are only proving things what from the scriptures at? okay so uh, i think that uh, in our next uh, uh we'll, we'll look at that uh, our next video on hermeneutics we will have to consider that so that uh uh, our viewers will know, yeah. you know, what a minute is about. All right, thanks, Thank you. friends out there. Uh, so I pray that these videos will be a blessing to you.